G'day viewers, you're watching my show Go Green with Kalkine with me, Liv Kasman. Today we'll be taking a look at the latest initiatives in Canada's fight against climate change. Canada may be focused on its climate change goals, but some recent numbers have been quite disappointing. Now the government is taking action. A government study in April noted that Canada was the only country among G7 nations to record an increase in carbon emissions levels between 2015 and 2019. In a bid to fix it, Canada has decided that it will no longer approve any new thermal coal mining projects going forward. Canadian Environment Minister Jonathan Wilkinson has also added that even expansion of existing thermal coal mining projects won't be allowed as they're not in line with Canada's climate change plans. Burning of thermal coal is not only considered to be a major source of pollution, but also the largest contributor to climate change. A recent study by the International Energy Agency noted that if the world wants to achieve net zero emissions in the future, there could be no new coal-fired projects going forward and this could be one of the reasons and one of the primary reasons behind Canada's latest directive on reducing carbon emissions. So how does Canada plan to achieve its climate change goals? Well in 2019 Canada produced 57 metric tons of coal and half of it was used to generate electricity. But it's worth noting here that coal-fired electricity meets only 10% of the country's electricity demand. But Canada had already planned to stop producing electricity from coal by 2030. As oil sands production is also responsible for carbon emissions, Canada's top oil sands producers have come up with their plan of building plants with carbon capture technology. In April of this year, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau revealed that Canada aims to bring down its carbon emissions by 40 to 45 per cent from its 2005 levels by the year 2030. Prime Minister Trudeau stressed that the renewables emissions reduction target is much more than the target first pitched at the Paris climate talks in 2015. Previously, Canada always maintained that it would cut carbon emissions by a third or up to a third, 30% in fact, by 2030. In May, the G7 nations agreed to limit the rise in global temperatures to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This was a notable shift from the previous target of 2 degrees Celsius. To discourage developing nations from starting coal-fired projects, G7 nations have unanimously decided to stop funding such facilities by the end of 2021. Well, that's it for now. I'll be back soon with more shows around clean energy, renewables and climate change. Thanks for watching. I'm Liv for Kalkine Media.